This video will show you how to put shorthand in scoping. So Case Catalyst has a text expander and it is known as eDefine. So I will, I will show you it in action. Here we have a transcript we're working on and the question, how far was Disney World? Disney World was about five miles away. Was Disney World to the east or west? Disney World was to the east. Okay. Now, Disney World is coming up a lot in this transcript, and let's say we actually dropped Disney World here. Now, we could go ahead and, you know, type Disney World, struggle with maybe capitalization or misspelling or just wanting to conserve speed. So instead of doing all of that, we could simply type DW, select the text, control E, and type in Disney World. We could select case sensitive or not. I'm not selecting case sensitive. So any type I type in DW, if I were to drop it for whatever reason, the word Disney World will come up. That's the first example. Now, our next example. Did you injure your left shoulder or your right shoulder? I injured my right shoulder. So was your left shoulder unharmed? Yeah, my left shoulder was fine. So here again, we could type in LS, select the text, control E, and designate that for left shoulder. So whenever we misstroke or drop left shoulder, instead of typing out all those characters, we can type in LS and the word will expand. Here, I injured my right shoulder. We can RS, select the text, control E, our E defined window pops up and we type in correctly right shoulder. Now, let's say the person's initial was RS, so you don't want to use RS because it's going to change every instance of RS into right shoulder. So you want to find a different text to define. So you can do RR, you can do R3, you can do RT. You can do whatever you want, whatever you decide to E define that text to, it will come up for that in that job, right shoulder, anything you want. So this saves a lot of time, it helps with even making sure the punctuation is correct, everything is consistent, and it, it makes it less frustrating. Like it makes it easier to get through a transcript. So this is using it very pr for certain jobs. Certain jobs you will want to create certain, certain e-defines. However, there are certain e-defines that I have for all the time. So for common phrases. So I don't know is a phrase that we hear a lot. And it may be a phrase that we drop a lot if we're not phrasing it, if we're not briefing it. So anytime I write IDK, I don't know will expand. It will expand into I don't know. IDR, I don't remember. IDH, I don't have. IDC, I don't care. Um, and then I even use phrases from steno so like t-e-t -E at the time t-a-t -E at that time what else do i have i actually have over 600 e defines and some of my e defines are because when i'm typing too fast a i wanted to just correct and, and not have to go through spell check so you know how on microsoft word we have autocorrect 
so this is basically creating my own autocorrect so let's see let me I have to try to misspell it it will autocorrect there um, have a maybe I'm I don't hit the space bar fast enough and it comes together as one instead of now having to come back during spell check for a misspelled word it actually corrects it automatically and I have many words like that especially words that I may let's see I know document comes up somehow well okay well here perfect example document didn't come out correctly because I was typing it too fast so instead of having to come back during spell check or having to drag my mouse or you know click through the through the word any time I miss I mistype document it will autocorrect if I e define it so here I select the text control E and I write document now I am going to add this to my global tables that way no matter what job I'm in document if it's mister if if I write it if I type it wrong it will come up correctly so this saves a lot of time and I encourage you to create them for your for every job that you have like whenever you need to but then also for very common phrases that you hear every day or um, places that are particular to your community and the types of jobs that you do.